Even after a U.S.-led coalition successfully struck 36 Houthi targets in Yemen on Saturday, the United States can't rule out more attacks by the Houthis or by Iran-backed militias in the Middle East, warned National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan on ABC's This Week's show. The central purpose of the strikes has been to take away capabilities uh, from the Iranian-backed militias in Iraq and Syria that are attacking our forces and from the Houthis that continue to threaten Red Sea shipping. And we believe they had good effect in reducing, degrading the capabilities of the militias and of the Houthis. And as necessary, we will continue to take action. But the Houthis have vowed to continue their military operations, which they affirm are in retaliation for Israel's war against Hamas targets in Gaza. More than 27,000 Palestinians have been caught in the crossfire and killed, and more than 66,000 injured, according to the Hamas-run Gaza Health Ministry. What we see of aggression, siege, genocide, and a medicine blockade on our brothers in Gaza, citizens of Yemen, its tribes, weapons, and men are getting ready to face this aggression and do what they can. Israel's military campaign was launched in response to the Hamas terrorist incursion into Israeli territory on October 7. Some 1,200 people were killed in that attack, and 240 more were taken captive. On Sunday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said 17 out of 24 Hamas battalions have been toppled so far. Most of the remaining battalions are in the southern Gaza Strip and in Rafah, and we will take care of them too. The U.S. is boosting its push for a diplomatic solution to the conflict, with a new visit by U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken to the region. A multi-stage proposal for extended pauses in fighting and the release of hostages in exchange for Palestinian prisoners in Israel is also in the works. The president has put his shoulder to the wheel on this. He has spoken to the leaders of both Qatar and Egypt, two countries that are centrally involved in trying to broker this deal. We are in constant contact with our Israeli counterparts on it. And Hamas will have to be willing uh, to say yes to an arrangement that uh, brings hostages home. Sullivan noted the deal isn't imminent and no timetable can be provided. His remarks came after the United Nations warned Friday that the Rafah border area in particular is becoming, quote, a pressure cooker of despair for displaced Palestinians in Gaza. Veronica Valderas Iglesias, VOA News.